What's up you guys, Wayne here. Can we talk about Days of Our Lives for a minute? Let's talk about Days of Our Lives for a minute. Out of the four remaining American soaps, Days is the most insane of them all. It has a mad scientist that can brainwash people and bring them back from the dead. The actual devil is a character on this show who possesses people and summons zombies. Actual angels and psychics also exist. Currently on Days, the show is killing off three of its main leads, Dr. Marlena Evans, Dr. Kayla Johnson, and Kate Brady. The story surrounding their deaths is emotional and good, but it would be better if we weren't already spoiled by the promo that the ladies will be back. The show gave us this big season promo a while back and it showed a scene with the three ladies in heaven. Now, I don't believe they would have showed us this scene if they weren't planning on resurrecting them. I really feel showing us that scene was a mistake. This is already a soap opera and death has literally no meaning in a soap opera. Characters come back from any and everything. So now you're showing us all this heaven stuff and we've seen characters be resurrected before by an angel on this show. So I know that Dr. Marlena Evans and company are coming back, I know. So it just kind of ruins it that I can't even grieve with the other characters probably because, oh, they'll be back, baby. Like, come on, don't, you ruined it. It's only ruined a little bit for me, though. Like I said, I'm enjoying this story. The writers are doing the most to make you think that they are dead for real, though. Especially with Kate being cremated. How are you gonna bring back ashes? But with God, all things are possible. And when them ashes get put back together, I'm going to fall out of my seat laughing. Death has zero meaning on this show. We all know that Bo is coming back too, and he died long before I even started watching this show. And he's also been an angel, an angel who brought Trip back to life when he died sacrificing himself to stop Satan. I, I love this show, I love it. This is Passions levels of ridiculous, and I love Passions. This death storyline with Marlena and company has led to a lot of other good storylines with how everyone is grieving. Crazy Christian dealing with the fallout of withholding the cure and then losing it. Steve mourning and attacking Christian. Stephanie breaking up with Alex because he interfered with her being able to say goodbye to her mom before she passed. Alex, you messed up bad, but you'll be all right. Go have more threesomes until you heal. And while I'm singing the praises of this show, let me take a moment to give a shout out to one of my favorite characters, Leo Stark. I love him and Gwen together. I used to love the both of them on The Young and the Restless too. So it's nice to see those two back together and they still have good chemistry. Leo is funny as hell and I hope he doesn't leave this show for a very long time. I thank you, it'd be nice. You rude little queen. I low-key like his friendship with Sonny too, but that might be coming to an end soon once the secret about Leo helping Zonda comes out. So yeah, Days of Our Lives is ridiculous, but I love it. I wonder how long it's gonna take before Dr. Marlena Evans and company are resurrected. I hope they don't drag it out too long. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna say it again because some of y'all are hard-headed. Don't be hard-headed in the year 2023. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other videos. All right, later guys, be blessed.